In this video, I'll show you how to analyze landing page report in Google Analytics 4 and get actionable insights from it. I'll show you how to read it and then interpret the data. <laughs> Hello, data people. My name is Robert, and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. And the first insight needs a bit of clicking around, but it's totally worth it. Let's take a look at the report. Okay, let's take a look at the first insight. And I usually start by looking at the conversion rate, but unfortunately by default, you don't have conversion rate in the report. If you have the rights, you have this little pen icon here and you can customize this report. But uh, in this one, I don't have, but on my own website, I do have it. So from here, I can click on customize report and then inside metrics, add metric conversion. You see, I have session conversion rate. So if I pick that one and I apply it, it will now appear in my reports. So it's here on the right. Now I would need to choose to purchase if you're using e-commerce metrics. And now you would see the conversion rates. Unfortunately, my site is not e-commerce, so I cannot show you here. The other option is to use explore tab and create this kind of report where you have basically uh, the conversion rate. So if you want to know how to do this, you can just click on the banner here at the top right corner. And there there's an in-depth video how to create this, this type of a free form report where you also see the conversion rate. So what I like to do here is just look at the conversion rate. So this one drives most traffic, these three, but barely any sales. You can see even from revenue, you have a really low conversion rate, but then we go to these three, you can start seeing, okay, 4% conversion rate, above a 2% conversion rate. That's actually quite good for our shop because our average is just 1.2%. So definitely I would look up, maybe send more traffic to these pages. I would use my email campaigns or maybe even ad campaigns to send more traffic to these pages because they seem to convert much better. Now, there might be other reasons why it's this one is converting badly, but I would definitely start with the good one performing ones and then look at, for example, what type of traffic is this page getting? Maybe all the ads are going to this page and that's why it's driving the conversion rate really low because usually the paid traffic is or lower converting traffic. Okay, let's take a look at the second insight I get from this report is just to look at the specific pages, which pages are actually generating the most money. So let's say here we can see um, we have 10,000 here, 8,000 here and how many many users or sessions. Okay, this is a very strange situation. This just looks un unrealistic, but let's take a look at this one. So for example, this apparel meds, it sounds quite interesting. We have quite a lot of users and we have some revenue there. So let's say I want to dive into that. I'll grab this URL, just copy it. And then in the filter, I'll place it here and then I'll search for it. So now it's filtered. So let's add a secondary dimension. And in this case, I'm going to look at the default channel grouping. I just want to see where the people come from, what type of source. From here, you can immediately see, okay, direct is the biggest one. And then we have also organic search here. If we look at in terms of revenue, all right, yeah, directly, direct is definitely the most. We also have this page and it shows up here just because it also matches the filter. If you want to have a bit more, a better filtering, then you would use the comparison mode from here. But basically now I could look at which of these sources, what, what is bringing me the most money? Okay, maybe sources didn't really reveal that much. We can also change this to device type or something and take a look. Maybe we have more, maybe we're having just more customers from certain type of device. So I can already see here that we have desktop as the primary source. And this is quite strange because for this website, most people are are coming to uh, through mobile. So we can see that there's a lot of people on desktop coming to the site. And when I look at the revenue, again, desktop is dominating, although tablet is doing all right if we you know take into account that there's only 18 users so definitely something to look at like why is mobile performing this bad like zero in revenue how that i could look into this even further so look really maybe I, there's some issues with our mobile page maybe the ctas are not clear this just starts to reveal you more information about that specific page so you can really dive deeper what's going on on that page and this is something i cover more in depth in my ga4 e-commerce course and I really just focus on the analysis and getting insights, leaving out the techie stuff. So for more information, just check out the link in the description. The third insight that I usually like to look in this report is, is by looking the engagement rate or average engagement time per session. So in this case, we don't see engagement rate. So let's look at this. Okay, this one, I think something's just wrong there, but look at this. Why is this 10 seconds? That That's kind of strange. If I compare it to the others here, we have 10, uh, these are one minute, on one minute then we have some two uh, two plus minutes so this really stands out so what's going on here now let me grab this again i want to filter i want to just look at this page and then we have stationary okay let's add a secondary dimension so maybe let's look at the 
source so where did people come from to this page so session source and medium now we can see oh okay most people actually came through a paid ads and so whatever ad campaign this is it's not working i mean seven seconds and zero revenue i would need to take this and show it to my online marketing team to the people that are responsible for the ads or if i'm responsible then i would just go and look in google ads what's going on so maybe i'm sending the traffic to wrong page or something else is going wrong because this is just a mismatch and you can see how easily you can start getting insights just by looking at these reports and filtering and just breaking down it a little bit by the way data is not created equal and you should be only looking at data that is relevant to your role that's why i've created a cheat sheet which shows you the most important metrics and kpis specific to different e-commerce roles you can download it by clicking on the first link in the video description the fourth insight is to get those micro conversions because these are landing pages and of course as an e-commerce shop i would like to have a purchase but many times it's just not possible so then we have some other micro conversions like getting the person's email address or maybe we want people to go to the next page or view the new product we just launched so from here if i click i could now select some other event for example let's pretend that membership is uh we have a membership program and we want people to sign up let's pretend that this one had a lot of membership signups we could go on that page and see why is it performing so well and why is it getting so many membership signups you could learn from that page and try to replicate it elsewhere and hey if you're a bit confused like how do i actually set up this membership conversion well actually you just need to set up an event which is called membership whenever somebody signs up to your newsletter if you want to see how to set up these events and conversion events then check out the video that appears in your top right corner right now and sometimes to learn that you you cannot just rely on ga's insights uh, but you actually also need behavioral analytics software sounds fancy but it's just heat maps and session recordings to see exactly which elements of your landing pages are successfully engaging visitors so with uh, heat maps you will see where people click on the page and with the session recordings you will see what they do on the page you actually can follow along their mouse and what they do on the page where do they scroll and that just gives you so much more visibility what people do on your landing pages and the last insight that i usually like to get from this report is by looking at the campaign so here we have the primary dimensions landing page but we can add the secondary dimension as campaign so session campaign and now from here we can see how are my campaigns doing you know if it's something with email or maybe something in ads how is it doing compared to the other uh, campaigns so for example let's take a look now these ones drive a lot of sessions but which one actually makes some money let's take a look here you see the first seven they drive no revenue so you notice that these campaigns are not performing well these two are getting some revenue but the previous ones have nothing this is something that i also would look into why is this performing so badly maybe uh, for a specific page i would need to go into it but this just gives you an overview of how your campaigns are doing when you look at specific landing pages also okay great now you know how to get insights from the landing page report but without knowing what traffic source brings you the most revenue you're wasting time and money on low converting sources that's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn how to get insights from the acquisition report in ga4